Hey guys, Charles the Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be reviewing uh, Transformers Cyverse Bumblebee Adventures, or Bumblebee Cyverse Adventures, Deluxe Class, Megatron. So, yeah, as you can see, this is, uh, here he is in his tank mode. You can see it's very heavily inspired by the, the Cyverse cartoon he's got. He's, uh, missile launchers on the sides, and he's got, of course, his fusion cannon as his main turret. And, yeah, you can see this area. Uh, this area does not move, because it's made up of different, uh, kibble, <laughs> robot kibble. So, yeah, I can't really move. But, hey, that's, that's okay. And this can't move either, since I just placed down. But, hey, at least it rolls nicely. So, yeah, and it does come with a blast effect. This is not the same one <laughs> I'm telling you right now. It's not the same one as the Shockwaves. This is Shockwaves on the right. This is Megatron's on the left. Megatron, Shockwave. Megatron, Shockwave. Megatron, Shockwave. Okay, the thin, tall one is always Shockwaves, and then the shorter one is always Megatron's, and Shockwaves has no peg at the top, whereas this one does. And this works differently. This just has like a hole, and then this just this like smidges into there, like that. Whereas this one just has a hole, and then there's like a double side tab, and then this just slides in. Nope, <laughs> it just got really put force in it in the right spot, and it's kind of more bowl shaped here. It's kind of more round. This one's just. So, yeah, I can definitely tell what's going on there. So, so this just simply slides in. Oop. <laughs> That's a problem. Sometimes it's easy to get that off compared to some of the other ones. I mean, Optimus is, is kind of similar. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, easy to get off the front piece. But there you go. So, yeah. You can do all those different options. And, like, you can have it like this or just a simple... No, no, you can't actually. Um... It's really just going to be like this. So, yeah. So now for comparison, here he is with Deluxe Optimus. Okay, here he is with Bumblebee, Deluxe Bumblebee. And here he is with Deluxe Shockwave, fellow Decepticon. These are actually the only two Decepticons they're ever making in this deluxe line. Because Wave 2 is all out of it. So, there you go. You got all the <laughs> deluxe Decepticons in this line. I know, right? They should have made at least two, uh, the, you know, Decepticons. But I'm glad with the figures that they chose with. Uh, they all look nice. Can't wait for Wave 2. So, yeah. Oh, one thing to note. This is much better <laughs> than that Warrior Class one. I actually do own that one, and, well, if you want to know, it kind of was. No, uh, it's up in storage right now. I still have it, just up in storage. I'm just lazy to grab it. Um, but, yeah, so as you can see, it's kind of like the, it doesn't, the, you know, transformation is not the same, but it does have a similar leg thing where it just kind of bends, and then, but you could see that from the top. But here, it's all covered up, <laughs> so it's nice, much smoother and nicer. So, yeah, I'm sure I show you. Yeah, yeah visible head syndrome kind of in the back. So, <laughs> you can definitely say it's like a deformed robot here. So, yeah. But, anyways, transformation. So, first thing you want to do is remove his fusion cannon. So, and then remove both missile launchers from the sides. And now, <laughs> yeah, I know he's a parts former. I know what you're gonna say. Well, anyways, so uh, so first thing you wanna do, uh, just untab the legs from each other, and then clip them into the sides. So you can see, actually tab in somewhere, and then what? So there we go, and then just flip out the feet, and then swivel this legs around and then close this section in and you want to do the same here and then boom so yeah 
And then the next thing you just want to do is untab the hands and lower them down the arms. Uh, stream out. <laughs> zombie Megatron. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. <laughs> it looks like a zombie. It looks like some weird zombie. <laughs> he's just looking at him. He's like this. He's just like. <laughs> just looking at him. He's just going like this. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so. Uh, so then the next thing you just want to do is untap the sides. So let's check this area. So turn that. And boom. Oh, <laughs> popped off the arm. A little tricky area, but there we go. Just flip these down. We'll do all that later. First, then just you want to flip this down and pull this back and then flip these sections in. Then uh, rotate this area. You just want to come over here. And rotate always oh <laughs> this arm popped off again or a different arm right I think no no I think it's the same one so there's that so now we get a better look at him so yeah, these tab in in the back and then after that yeah these come down um and then after that just swivel the forearms and after that, there you have Megatron in his robot mode. And yeah, he looks very nice. Wait, hey, wait a minute. We forgot something. Complete Megatron. There we go. And I think I just put these missile launchers on the sides. And then after that, <laughs> and yes, the missile launchers on the sides, it's not storage. That's actually how it's packaged, and based on the show. Now after that, there you go, that's the real full Cyberverse Megatron. Oh, that's how it's supposed to be like. So, so yeah, there you go. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, now for articulation, his head's on the bowl joint, mine's a little looser, probably, probably how it's supposed to be, it's kind of like that. But yeah, it looks, his skull looks like this. And you can see he's got lots of detail in his chest. And now watch on the back. Oh yeah, the treads are, treads are painted too. There's like a little grade near the wheels. But anyways, so. Uh, yeah, the arms do go out at least 180 degrees. Move a full 360. The elbows move 90 degrees. And then they swivel around. The hands can uh, swivel. And then the waist is also on this swivel too. Legs uh, kick out at least under 80 degrees or 90 degrees. And then kick back this far and then bend. his knees bend at 90 degrees. And his feet pivot. So similar to the other deluxe class figures. So yeah. So, anyways, so now for, <laughs> go on, here we go, it's, it's kind of hard to get, like, a straight position for this guy, it's kind of like, you know how he is, but not really, okay, there you go, so now for comparison, here is with, uh, the Lux Optimus Prime, so as you can see, uh, Maritron is, like, a bit, Taller, you can see it. He definitely looks taller in person, around it's like a smidge taller. So, yeah, so that's that's quite an accurate scale. And uh, here is with Bumblebee, and that's frankly accurate as well. Oh, here we go. And here is with Shockwave, look, Shockwave. And yeah, the definitely these definitely make him taller. Is a uh, definitely is a tenna or whatever it is. So yeah, there you go. So lastly, I want to talk about his uh, piece from Academy, and it's his upper torso. So yeah, it's a pretty flat piece. 
And it's pretty big. It's pretty big, actually. So, yeah, as you can see it there. And, yeah. Looks nice. Smokes nice. There's a little <laughs> missed paint on mine. I'm trying to scratch it off if I can because it's paint made by a big company. And my nails versus a <laughs> big company cannot work. So, it's ringing while we already have. We just got this piece just floating around. Uh, so, we can combine these two. It's quite hard to put on. <laughs> you got to put a lot of pressure into it. Yeah, because you can see these are pretty big. And, and oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's actually hard to see all the line, all the wrinkles it did. Or, uh, yeah. So yeah, there you go. And you can stand like that still. <laughs> That's pretty much how it can stand in. Yeah, so, so far we got this. We just got this fun <laughs> flowing piece. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's getting quite complete. We just need four more fingers. Oh yeah. So there you have the Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Deluxe Class Megatron. So yeah, the last of the first wave. So yeah, cannot wait for the second wave, as I said before. Man, it looks so cool. It looks, I'm actually more excited for that wave than this one. So yeah. Yeah, this completes the first wave. And yeah. And so far, yeah, this, this is pretty good. And this entire first wave is pretty awesome. It's like the best Star Wars toys we've gotten. So yeah. And so yeah, it's very cool. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. So anyways, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this figure. Do you guys think it's good, mediocre, or bad? Let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys wash your hands and become germ-free. Um, as you know, and actually after this video, I'm planning on just looking at some like figures I've never viewed around my house here just you know since i'm in quarantine so so yeah just find some old like you know g1s i have some g1 figures if you guys want to check those out and maybe some more legos i will review that ice cream truck that i got and uh maybe some hero factory mocks that we've had for years my brother actually suggested that one so yeah so yeah, yeah. so make sure you guys wash your hands germ free so yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and bye.